Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be mounting a winch inside my front bumper. And uh, if you remember last time I said that I didn't think I was gonna use the winch that I had in this bumper, um, I've kind of changed my mind. I don't think that I could sell the winch that I have for very much money. And uh, I don't wanna invest, I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on a new winch. Uh, so I'm gonna make it work. It's gonna be a little bit too tall where the lever is and where the control box is. Um, so it's gonna require notching the top plate out on this bumper. Um, so that's what we're going to do. You'll see me take this bumper off. I'll show you what I'm doing to make the winch fit in it. And then we'll put it back on with the winch and test it out. So let's go. All right, so you can see now for the winch to sit where it needs to sit, I'm gonna notch this part out of the top plate for this uh, box. And then I need to cut a three-sided shape for this handle to be able to swivel. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. So here you can see those cutouts. I painted them uh, about an hour ago, so they are pretty well dry now. We'll, uh, we'll get the winch bolted in there and see how it fits. Here it is guys, that little bit of silver is looking great. Just need to get the tow hook put back on it. And you can see here, notched that out nicely for the box there. This uh, is plenty of clearance to allow that to fully rotate. And now the next step will be to go check the plastic on the truck to see uh, what we have that's an inch tall there and half an inch tall there that might have clearance issues. So yeah. All right, so this will be pretty easy. Um, you're probably, in, there you can see it through the grill. Um, there you can see it through the grill. This is uh, 
just some plastic supports are gonna be the only thing in the way of going up in those areas. And uh, I don't know if I did it, I'm sure I did it at some point, but uh, they're actually not attached right now and they haven't been for some time. So uh, I'm not worried about it at all. I'm just gonna chop them off right here and there, there's never gonna be much force on the grill right here, so I'm not worried about it. Very professional. Precision cuts only. All right, so I have a feeling that there's not gonna be any perfect spot to mount this control box, but there's a lot of space right in here, so it'll go somewhere right here. It has to be very close to the actual winch. You'll see this is, uh, this is all the cable that I have to go from the winch to the control box. So it's definitely gonna be right in this corner. I think what I'm gonna do, do to start is remove the horn and then uh, oh, it looks like there's there's two horns um, so I'll unbolt both of the horns just let those hang down for a minute and then I'll see where I'm able to get this control box mounted all right so that was not fun at all it was probably one of the most tedious annoying and the most that I've ever done on the truck so as soon as we got the bumper out here and back on, there's no room to work on the winch, no room to work getting wires into the engine bay, no place to mount the control box in the engine bay. So I stopped filming almost immediately because that was just making it more frustrating. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys up. So it's, it's by no means a pretty install, but it's a functional install. So basically you, you guys saw how short these cables were uh, I didn't have much room to to put this control box anywhere other than right here and uh, right where it is here there was a horn so the horn had to move and the control box had to go right here and it's uh, so it's held in place but not super firm there was there was nowhere for me to put any bolts in this is just real soft plastic here and uh, nothing over here to bolt to but it is uh so it's resting on the bottom of the box on the uh the metal part of the engine bay there and then so it's it's staying down and it i just i have it zip tied to these wires right here so it can't move very far because these wires can't move very far and it gives me access to the side of the control box that i need to have access to the wires are, I mean, just at the full end of their length to get into the engine bay there. And I just, I zip tied the horn to this wire right here. Um, so uh, like I said, it's not really a very professional install. If I was a shop installing a winch, you would not be happy with, uh, with this being the way that I installed it. I don't, I don't know if you, uh, if you asked the shop to install this winch, what they would do, because there just was not much to work with there. Um, so just kind of show you where the other stuff's coming in. The ground wire is coming from the winch across the front of the bumper, comes up right here and ties into the ground. And the power wire starts over at the control box here, runs right up to the back of the engine bay. I have it zip tied across there and running into the power. 
So that's power and ground to the control box. So then for operating the winch, if you needed the winch, you take your, uh, your plug, plug it in there. Now you have power here. Just like that. So uh, yeah, overall, I'm happy with it. I now have a 12,000 pound winch mounted in the bumper. Don't have to buy a new winch. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, well, so uh, I apologize in the advance for all the construction noise. They've been doing this in front of our apartment for three weeks and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, this is the only place I have to film, so uh, sorry for the construction noise. So I've been driving around with it like this for a few days now, and uh, I'm going to the sand dunes, and I just decided that I wasn't, wasn't really happy with going to the sand dunes like this. This is gonna get just bounced around. Like I imagine, this is what I imagine the sand dunes being like, is that just constantly being thrown back and forth up against the air box in this plastic so I've decided to uh, to take a go at getting it mounted here and uh, we're we're gonna see what we can come up with All right, so this is done for now. I'm super happy with this bracket. You can see one, uh, one piece bolted against the truck there and the second piece bolted to the control box. Much stronger than the zip ties. It doesn't, it doesn't move at all now. Um, so super happy with that. Just need to wrap up the, the horn, mount that somewhere down there uh, later. But yeah, this is, uh, this is it for the winch install. Real easy to access still, the, the switches that I need. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.